गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर फोर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन एस एस द रजपूत एज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ विच एम्पेर आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ विच एम्पेर डिड द फ्यूडल लॉर्ड एंड द चीफ टेन बिकेम फ्री माई डियर स्टूडेंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन After the death of which king, the feudal lord became independent. Okay, and my dear student, the answer is Harshvardhana. Who was that? Harshvardhana during seventh century. During seventh century. Okay. So answer. After the death of emperor Harshvardhan, who after the death of Harshvardhan, the feudal lords and the chieftains. The feudal lord and the chief tains became free, and that we know they were they became free. And in south, ah, uh, we know Pulkesi too. Okay. So second question: Into how many and in which different parts? Listen carefully. Two things are there. Into how many and which? We have to write down both. Okay. Into how many and in which different parts? Are the states of medieval age divided? Okay, the states of medieval age. Okay, during the seventh till thirteenth century, fourteenth century is called medieval age. Okay, and, and during that during that time, the states were divided into which categories? Okay, so once again, into how many and in which different parts? Okay, the states of medieval age divided. My dear student. The states of medieval age, the states of medieval age were divided into two parts: the states of North India and the states of South India. In North India, who was ruling? Harshvardhana, and in South, Pulkesi II. Got it? So, the states of medieval age are divided into two parts, and both are written here: states of North India. And the states of South India. In my uh, second video, I I, I wrote Gurjar and Pratihara and Parmar, Pala, Sena, Gohil, then uh, Chauhan. These dynasties were ruling. That already I said. We are I am going to give question answer for that also. Okay, that we will discuss later on. Okay, third question. Who had saved? Who had saved India? From the invention of Arab, when Arab they wanted to come to India, who stopped Arabs? Okay, and my dear student, we know the rulers of Pratihara. I said, na, the rulers of Pratihara. When I explain about the dynasties of North India, I said about Pratihara, and that time I uh, said that the rulers of Pratihara they saved India from the invention of Arabs. So who were they? The kings of Pratihara. Okay, answer is here. The kings of Pratihara dynasty of Kanauj had saved India from the inven invention of Arab. Okay. Next question. Which were the two main towns during Parmar dynasty? Which were the two main the towns, cities? And I have already said that Ujjain and Dhara Nagari. Ujjain and Dhara Nagari. They were the two main centers okay so answer is here the two main towns during parma dynasty were ujjain and dhara nagari which were they ujjain and dhara nagari and next question which temple was which temple was constructed during pallava dynasty during pallava dynasty and i have already said that kailas temple of kanchi Which one? Kailas Temple of Kanchi. It was constructed during Pallava Dynasty. Got it? So here, Kailas Temple of Kanchi was constructed during Pallava Dynasty. Now, next question is. Next question is. Who was known as a feudal lord? Who was known as a 
feudal lords. I say, after the death of Harshvardhana, the landlords they became free. But who were the landlords? Those who had the, given the responsibility of collecting, collecting revenue. They were known as a feudal lords. Okay. So answer is the king divided his large empire. The king divided his large empire into three provinces. Into three provinces. Provinces. And my dear student, the person, the person who was assigned the responsibility, the responsibility was given to someone, okay, of collecting land revenue was called feudal lord. So who was feudal lord? The, the person who got the responsibility of collecting land revenue. The person who got the responsibility of collecting revenue was called feudal lord. My dear student, once again, the vast empire of the king was divided into three provinces and the person who got the responsibility, okay? The person who was assigned the responsibility of collecting land revenue was called feudal lord. Got it? Now, next question is, which were the powerful kings of Solanki dynasty in Gujarat? Okay? Which powerful kings existed in Solanki dynasty in Gujarat? Who were the main powerful rulers of Solanki dynasty? My dear student, during Rajput age, during 7 to 12th, 13th century, okay? Rajput rulers were there in Gujarat. Chawra, after Chawra, Solanki, and after Solanki, Vagira were there. So I am not saying about Chawra or uh, Vagira. Here I have asked about the Solanki kings. Okay, Solanki. So who were the main and powerful rulers of Solanki dynasty? My dear student, Muldan Solanki, Sidraj Jai Singh, Kumar Pal. Okay, they were the most powerful rulers of Solanki dynasty. Answer is here in Solanki dynasty. Powerful kings like Mulraj Solanki, Mulraj means Mulraj Solanki, Kumar Pal, and Sidraj Jaisi existed in Gujarat. So, the most powerful kings of Solanki dynasty were Mulraj Solanki, Sidraj Jaisi, and Kumar Pal. Next one, who had founded Ajay Meru city? Okay, who had founded Ajay Meru town? And by which name, by which name was that town known afterwards? Today, what we call that city, okay? And we know King Ajaypal, okay? King Ajaypal, he founded the city Ajay Meru, okay? So, King Ajay Raj, King Ajay Raj, okay? King Ajay Raj had founded Ajay Meru town in 12th century, in 12th century. So, who founded? King Ajay Raj, okay, and today, later on, we, today, we came to know as a Ajmer, and Ajmer is a holy place for the Muslims. King Ajay Raj had founded Ajay Meru town, and that town became known as Ajmer later. Today, we call it as a, we call it as Ajmer city, okay. Next one, who has narrated the story of Bravery of Prithviraj Chauhan, my dear student, I say, okay, and uh, in which epic? Epic means a long poem, a long poem that is called epic. In India, in India, uh, when we about about when we say about Hinduism, in Hinduism we have two epics, Ramayana and Mahabharata. Okay, we have two epics in uh, Hinduism, that is Ramayana and Mahabharata. My dear student, epic means a long poem. And my dear student, here, Chan Bardai, Chan Bardai had written one epic named Prithviraj Raso. And in that uh, book, in that epic, he narrated the story of bravery of Prithviraj Chauhan. So next question is, who was, who has narrated the story of bravery of Prithviraj Chauhan in which epic? And my dear student, answer is, a well-known poet, a well-known poet, Chan Bardai, has narrated the story of Prithviraj Chauhan's bravery in his famous epic, Prithviraj Raso. Thank you.